In this video, we'll show you how to install an ED900 low energy operator system with a push arm mounting. Refer to the installation instructions for detailed procedures and required tools. In preparing to mount the unit, first turn the power switch to the off position and unplug the main power connector from the main power connection board. Remove the unit from its mounting plate by loosening the capture screws. Select the template based on the door arm selected and the pinion extension being used in the application. The three templates included are Jam arm frame face push side mounting Jam arm above frame face push side mounting and jam arm below frame face with angle plate push side mounting. With either 1 quarter by 20 machine screws or number 14 wood screws, secure the mounting plate with 12 screws through the provided holes onto the door frame, wall, or angle plate. Insert the retaining pin into the only bottom hole on the mounting plate. Prior to installing the power cord, Read the installation instructions for important safety reminders. Make sure to only connect the power cord to 120 volts, 60 hertz outlets. Be warned, the power cords pose a risk to becoming entrapped in the moving parts of the operator, door, or system. To reduce the risk of electric shock, this equipment has a self-grounding plug that has a third prong used for grounding. This plug will only fit into a self-grounding outlet. If the plug does not fit into the outlet, contact a qualified electrician to install the proper outlet. Do not change the plug in any way. To install the power cord, first remove the power connector from the mounting plate. Next, insert the conduit plate into the mounting plate on the unit. If there are additional accessories or trigger inputs to be wired, place the wires into the mounting plate track. Reinsert the power connector onto the mounting plate and secure it with the provided screw. Connect the wires of the power cord to the power connector terminal blocks. Black is live, white is neutral, and green is ground. Let the cord hang loosely. Once all the wires have been fed through the mounting plate, press the clips down to hold the wires in place. Lastly, remove the protective foil from the heat conductive pads on the underside of the operator. The heat conductive pads must remain clean. To mount the ED900 unit, slide the operator onto the retaining pins of the mounting plate. Make sure the operator is oriented with the power switch end toward the hinge and feed the connection cable through the housing. Secure the operator with the eight capture screws provided. Next, connect all wires that are hanging freely. The main power connector connects to the power connection board. The controller cord for the ED900 is already connected. Use the connection diagram in the installation instructions for reference of input and output locations. The connection diagram is where the low voltage connections are made for all connected accessories. This includes activation, trigger devices, radio controlled receivers, electric strikes, magnetic locks, or Dormacaba motorized latch retraction panic devices. Be sure the operator is powered off before attempting any wiring due to potential electric shock. The terminals for the connection board are shipped loose in a plastic bag. Before any attempt is made to program the operator, the terminal blocks need to be installed on the connection board. The blocks are keyed and numbered to only fit in the correct terminals. The following jumpers, terminal 4 and 4A, 15 by 3, and 11 by 3 must be in proper locations for the unit to be properly commissioned. The connections at 4 by 4A, 11 by 3, 
and 15 by 3 are normally closed circuits, and the block with the factory jumpers must be installed in the correct location before the operator will move. The wires of the internal mode switch connect to the terminal connection board. For additional wiring information, please go to dormacaba.us. Connect the push plates or other activation devices to open the door to terminals 42 and 3. Connect any additional accessories as required. These terminals must be connected to their respective locations prior to powering the unit. The jumpers must be in the proper location for the unit to function properly. The next step is to refer to the proper template and determine the length of the pinion which will be needed. Turn the square end so that its mounting position is as shown. Place the pinion extension into the arm. To mount the J or standard arm on the push side, place the self-locking nut over the rod and thread the rod through the end of the connecting arm. Refer to the appropriate template for measurements and placement. Then secure the connecting arm assembly to the door with two screws, either machine or wood. Attach the main arm to the operator pinion by securing the pinion bolt with a 5mm hex key socket and torque wrench. Torque the bolt to a value of 26 foot-pounds. Adjust the self-locking nut on the connecting arm to lengthen or shorten it until the two arms can be snapped together. Keep the connecting arm at a 90 degree angle while adjusting. Press the ball head of the connecting arm into the provided hole on the main arm. Secure the connecting arm by turning the self-locking nut counterclockwise until tight against the connecting arm. Ensure the pinion bolt is properly seated and operate the door a few times. Retorque the pinion bolt with a value of 26 foot-pounds by using a 5 mm hex key socket and torque wrench. To adjust the spring force, fully turn the spring force counterclockwise until it stops. Turn at least 10 full revolutions clockwise to add spring force. The system will check the spring adjustment during the learning cycle. The cycle will be interrupted if the spring is insufficiently tensioned. The learning cycle must be performed whenever the spring tension is readjusted. In this video, we will not commission the ED900. However, after mounting the unit, it needs to be adjusted to close safely. Set the green terminal jumper to push or pull side mounting. With a pull side mounting, the terminal jumper is positioned away from the information display. While in a push side mounting position, the terminal jumper is closer to the information display. Manually open the door to a 90 degree angle and let it close. The door should fully close at a speed greater than 3 seconds. If the door closes in less than 3 seconds, Turn the potentiometer a quarter turn clockwise and open the door to a 90 degree angle and let it close again. Repeat this step as necessary. This concludes the installation process for an ED900 low energy operator with push arm mounting. For customer service, contact Dormacaba.